So I've been asked if I could talk about um, my wall hangings, um, you know, sort of go through my house and talk about the stuff that's in them. Um, and in the interest of actually getting a video out today, <laughs> I'm going to do it from here, um, where you're used to seeing me at my desk, um, to start. And um, I'll just tell you my style um, in my house is um, kind of Scandinavian, but also very influenced by all the places that we've lived. So um, I like neutral, uh, simple line, neutral colors, simple lines, warmth, but everything's ac accented sort of by stuff that we have bought and liked um, everywhere that we've lived. So it becomes very eclectic and has a lot of different textures and different colors, but everything's sort of based on um, sort of clean line Scandinavian furniture in warm sort of neutral tones. So that's sort of my house in general. <laughs> um, okay, so I thought I'd start with just this little shelf that's right behind me here that you see all the time. And I thought, excuse me for moving my webcam so that you can see it. Um, let me see if I can't zoom in on that. So I thought I'd start with this photograph here, which is from our stay in Australia. So you can see the um, lamp reflected in the background there. So I'm sorry it's kind of reflective. Um, the glass is reflective framed. Um, a few months before we were going to move um, from Australia, um, I went I heard on the radio about this photographer who was called um, Stavros Pippos, and this is his book. So that's his book. It's called Light on Earth, and it's photographs of South Australia, which is the state in Australia that Adelaide is in, where I where I lived. And one of the things that I really, really, really love about Australia is the light. <laughs> The light in Australia is very, very different from anywhere else in the world, really. And um, I love it. <laughs> I, I, I knew I was going to miss it. And when I heard about this exhibition by this guy, Stavros Pippos, you can see, um, I'll, I'll find some other pictures. I took the kids, dragged the kids after I picked them up from school one day and I went and had a look at his um, exhibition and I absolutely fell in love with his photography and I knew, I told John, I said what I want from Australia apart from my opal earrings, like something that we could have for the home, here's the picture that we have, Let's see, was um, one of his photographs framed and um, it's kind of a funny story because I, I ordered up this one and we picked this one um, because, and I'll show it to you again, um, it has the gum trees and the light coming through the gum trees in just an amazing way. And the place where that picture is taken is called Wilpena Pound. Wilpena Pound is in the Flinders Ranges, which are... <laughs> five or six hours drive from Adelaide. Um, if you look on the map, it looks about like that far. It doesn't look like it's far at all, but it's like five or six hours and it's all throughout back in. And we went camping there once and we actually walked on a hike through Wilpena Pound. And one of the things that we remembered most from Australia um, and that we wanted to keep sort of a memory from Australia was our trip to the Flinders the light when it comes through those gum trees and the beautiful colors that the gum trees in the outback sort of have. So I said I wanted that picture. So I ordered it up and, and you know, it's, it's very special the way you order it up there. I mean Australia doesn't have that many sort of print um, facilities available for photographers 
who want it, you know, art artistically printed and stuff. So um, I called up Stephanus Pippas himself, and he I said, it's really important that I have it before New Year's Eve because we were moving out of the house. So he actually brought me the um, the photograph himself, and um, we didn't get a frame, so he brought it to me um, inside sort of a glass um, protector, um, and he said, and um, since you're leaving Australia, I thought he thought um, he would just sign my book for me too. So it says to Christine with best wishes, Stavros Pippos, 2007. So, I mean, I was. I was so honored that he would actually drop it off at my house between Christmas and New Year himself because, um, you know, because I was leaving and I really wanted to take his photograph with me. I've had it framed here in Denver. Um, and, you know, it just sort of it almost makes me cry, the seeing it and seeing the light through the gum trees. Um, one of my many passports, you'd think I was some sort of a, like, um, spy or something, but one of my many passports is now from Australia, and uh, while it's not the beach, and it's not, you know, a koala bear, and it's not, um, um, I don't know, it's not, not kangaroos, <laughs> it's my memory and, and what I take from Australia. So that's um, while hanging number one. And I just thought I'd show you this one too. That's a little peanut pound. So the picture's taken down in the pound down in here. He, I heard on the on the radio his interview of when he took this picture from St. Mary's Peak, and it um, he climbed up there at like three in the morning so he could get the sunrise on St. Mary's Peak. And and I remember lying in the radio uh, in bed listening to this talk show on the radio at like six a.m. on a Sunday morning. And I remember thinking, gosh, I bet I could do that. You know, I bet I could, um, you know, photograph and, and, and capture what I love about um, a place or capture what I love about a, a piece of scenery. And so that's what got me thinking that I could maybe learn photography and become a landscape photographer because he spoke with such love about the place he was photographing and how he wanted to capture that um, that feeling that yeah I think he's what inspired me the most um, in hearing his interview so um, yeah that's um, my wall hanging number one I'm hoping this is going to be a series uh, quick update on my closet my um, table setting closet. I'm almost finished with it. I had to order a couple more boxes, but when I'm finished, I promise I will give you a rundown of what it looks like now. I'm actually really pleased that I that I did it. Um, so I'll give you a link to Stavros Pippos's page, um, um, and you can have a look at his other beautiful photo, uh, beautiful photographs. And um, yeah, let me know if you're enjoying this. Okay, bye bye.